ever struggle to turn a design into working code? Maybe you've got a Figma layout but don't want to spend hours manually coding HTML and CSS. Well, today I'll show you how to do it in minutes, without breaking a sweat. Hi, I'm Daniel, welcome to my channel where I make smart tutorials. We are going to use an incredible AI-powered code editor called CodeLLM from Abacus AI. It can take a simple PNG export of your design and transform it into functional HTML and CSS, all with just a few clicks. I'll walk you through the entire process, from exporting a Figma design to refining the AI-generated code and even adding interactive features like dark mode and animations. Also, I've left all the useful links in the description down below, so don't forget to check them out. Let's dive in! From Figma to Code with Code LLM so today I'm going to show you how to quickly convert a Figma design, export it as a PNG file, into functional HTML and CSS code, using an impressive feature from Abacus AI called Code LLM. It's a full-fledged AI code editor and assistant, powered by top-tier language models that explain and assist with coding tasks. These include Claude Sonnet, Gwen, Dracaris, Dipsic, O1, and O1 Mini. I'll start by showing you the Figma layout. We'll be converting into an HTML and CSS template. First, we need to export it from Figma. To do that, select the desired page from the sidebar and choose the export format. PNG in our case. You can also adjust the export scale before downloading. Now let's export the home page. Once the download is complete, we can head to Code LLM by Abacus AI. On the main page, you'll find a chat interface connected to models like Claude Sonnet, O3 Mini High, which handles coding tasks exceptionally well, DeepSeek R1, Dracarys, an AI tool from Abacus, Quen with 72 billion parameters, Code LLM, an assistant that explains the code within the editor along with other models like O1, O1 Mini, and Claude Haiku 3.5. Only a few models from this list can handle our task. These include AI tools that support file uploads, Claude Sonnet 3.5, Code LLM itself, and O1 from ChatGPT. I'll use Claude Sonnet 3.5 and upload the PNG image we just exported. Once the file is uploaded, I'll select the design folder in my project, close the welcome tab, and type a message in the prompt field. I'll ask the assistant to generate HTML and CSS based on the uploaded design. Let's see how Claude Sonnet 3.5 integrated into the editor response. As you can see, it quickly agrees to generate the HTML and CSS code. Claude recognizes the design as a coffee shop website and is going to break it down into sections. The AI is now generating the code in two separate files, index.html and style.css. You can watch the process in real time as the files are created. First the HTML, followed by the CSS. It also provides a detailed guide on the next steps we should take. The AI states, this code creates a responsive coffee shop website with the following sections. 
it then explains that we need to add our own images, adjust the colors and typography to match our brand, include product card components, insert actual content and links, add hover effects, implement the card functionality, and upload our logo. As we can see, the layout is fully responsive. Even though the original screenshot didn't include a mobile version. Claude Sone 3.5 through code LLM still generates responsive and adaptive code for different screen sizes. It also uses the latest CSS technologies, such as CSS Grid and Flexbox, to create modern, flexible layouts. Now let's create the files suggested by Claude Sané 3.5. We can see that code LLM doesn't detect the index.html file, so we'll create it. There's no need to copy and paste the code manually, because we have handy insert and apply buttons. The apply option lets us choose the target file, and code LLM will suggest where to place the code. Once we click Apply, the upload begins. Let's wait for it to finish. Once the upload is complete, the full code appears in Code LLM. We can either accept or reject it. Of course, we'll accept it. The white circle icon indicates that the file hasn't been saved yet. So we press Ctrl S to save it. Insert the generated code using the Insert button and save it as well. Now it's time to test the design. Here's the result. Of course, I've already added images from the Figma template and place them in the spots designated by Abacus AI. While the layout isn't fully polished and the content doesn't perfectly match some sections, it works well as a draft for further refinement. As a rough prototype, it's actually quite impressive. We can continue working with this layout For example, I'll ask Cloud Sonnet 3.5 to enhance the code by adding more features. I'll request a dark light mode toggle for the website. I've provided a detailed prompt specifying exactly how I want the switch to work, including the background colors for both dark and light modes. The instructions are thorough and include all the necessary details to ensure the AI implements it correctly. At the end of the prompt, I specify that I need a complete code snippet, including HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Let's see how CloudSonet 3.5 handles the task. Here are the suggestions it provides for our HTML and CSS files. Let's wait for the process to finish. We also see that it suggests adding a JavaScript file and generates the full code for script.js. When we click on it, the system doesn't find the file, so we'll need to create it. Of course, Claude provides clear instructions explaining what the code does and how to implement it outlining the exact steps we need to follow. Let's go ahead and create a new file called script.js. We'll paste the code generated by Claude Sonnet 3.5 into this file. Once that's done, we'll close the script file. 
for the CSS and HTML files. We'll use the Apply button. This way code LLM will automatically find the correct location for the code and insert the changes. We can clearly see where the code has been added. We'll follow the same process for the styles.css file and add the new suggestions there. We just need to wait a moment for CodeLM to analyze our code, identify the appropriate locations for the changes, and suggest the corresponding edits. Now we can see the new code. There's quite a bit of it. Let's accept the changes and, of course, save everything. It's time to check the results. After refreshing the page, we can see the dark mode button, which switches perfectly between light and dark modes. It uses the exact colors we requested. So the dark light mode is now fully integrated into our website. I also asked Claude to fix this section, and it handled that as well. Overall, this is a fairly functional layout for an initial draft. Next, we can ask the AI to add animations using JavaScript or implement other interactive features to make the site more dynamic and engaging. So, I've written a detailed request asking it to implement JavaScript animations for our page. The animations should be triggered during page load and while scrolling. I also specify the exact types of animations I need and emphasize that it should use the same technologies – HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. We can see the analysis in progress. At this stage, Code LLM thoroughly reviews all the project files. Once the analysis is complete, it will execute our task. Here, it's working on adding animations in the CSS file. It also mentions that we need to make changes in the script file and provides a clear explanation of the modifications and how to implement them. As usual, we'll use the Apply button for the styles.css file and wait for the changes to load. The editor highlights exactly where the modifications should be made. We'll do the same for script.js. Click Apply. Select the script.js file. Wait for the upload to finish. And then apply the changes. Don't forget to press Ctrl-S to save everything. Since there are no changes in index.html, we can move straight to testing. I refreshed the page, and now we can see the animations both during the initial page load and while scrolling. Of course, it still needs some manual fine-tuning, which we can easily do with Code LLM. Overall, you can see that coding with this tool becomes much faster and more efficient. Here's the loading block in action, and you can see how the animations have been applied. Final thoughts. Bringing a static design to life with code can be a time-consuming process, but as we have seen, AI can make it a whole lot easier. In this video, we started with a simple PNG export from Figma and used Code LLM to generate structured HTML and CSS, implement a dark mode toggle, and add smooth JavaScript animations. The result? A functional, responsive website with minimal manual effort. If you haven't tried Code LLM yet, this is the perfect opportunity to see what it can do for your own projects. If you're excited to try it out, or if you've already used it and have some thoughts to share, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear about your experiences. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching and till next time.